Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. BBC comedian and former The One Show correspondent Hardeep Singh Kohli arrested and charged in connection with non-recent sexual offences. BBC comedian Hardeep Singh Kohli has been charged in connection with non-recent sexual offences. Father of two Mr. Kohli, 54, who was single after his marriage to Shamila Singh ended in 2009, has been released from custody and is set to appear in court at a later date. Mr. Coley is a former celebrity Big Brother and Celebrity Master Chef contestant and has presented several programs for the BBC. It comes following allegations from a number of women, which was reported in The Times last month. A Police Scotland spokesperson said, A 54-year-old man has been arrested and charged in connection with allegations of non-recent sexual offences. He has been released on an undertaking to appear in court at a later date. A report of the circumstances has been submitted to the Procurator Fiscal. Mr. Coley was runner-up in the 2006 series of Celebrity Master Chef, as well as being a housemate in 2018's Celebrity Big Brother alongside former Arsenal midfielder Jermaine Pennant, Coronation Street actor Ryan Thomas, and former Cheers actress Kirstie Alley. Before entering the house, Mr. Coley said, It's better to have loved and lost than to have never gone into the Celebrity Big Brother house at all. The comedian's parents came to the UK from India in 1966 settled in London, where Mr. Coley was born in 1969. His younger brother Sanjeev, 51, is a successful writer and actor, while his older brother Randeep is a Met policeman. Hardeep Singh Coley moved to Scotland when he was four, in 1974. His mother Kuldeep was a social worker and while his father Perduman was first a teacher, he then became a landlord in Bishop Briggs, northern Glasgow. The three brothers later followed their father in amassing a £15 million property portfolio, largely across Glasgow's West End. They mostly rent to students. Hardeep Singh Kohli is a fan of American playwright Arthur Miller, who boasts the crucible and death of a salesman among his most famous works. Mr. Kohli studied law at the University of Glasgow, where he met his now ex-wife Shamila Singh. After university, he joined BBC Scotland on its graduate production, Trainee Scheme, for two years. The award-winning comedian went on to produce children's television for the corporation. He went on to work in youth and entertainment features as a series director in Manchester on Janet Street Porter's reportage and a roving reporter for the BBC's The One Show. He also directed the RTS and BAFTA-winning show It'll Never Work. In 1996, Mr. Coley went independent and directed commercials as well as occasionally appearing on BBC Radio 5 Live. In 2006, he appeared in the first-ever series of Celebrity Master Chef and came runner-up to England Rugby World Cup-winning scrum half Matt Dawson. In 2008, Mr. Coley was on the Man Booker Prize judging panel that snubbed Salman Rushdie's The Enchantress of Florence. I think Rushdie's writing is patchy, to be honest, he said. He has written some good books and some not-so-good books. There is no doubting the man's massive intellect. But I have never known a book split the public so much as Midnight's Children. People will secretly confess to not finishing. Others will secretly confess to hating it. For others, it is the one book they would take to their grave. A year later Mr. Coley's book about food and travel in India called Called Indian Takeaway, One Man's Attempt to Cook His Way Home, was published. In 2009, his marriage ended. He and his ex-wife have two children a girl, now 30, and a boy, now 27. In 2018, he was involved in a heated racism row with housemate Sally Morgan. The television psychic broke down in tears when the comedian accused her of borderline racism when she proposed putting talcum powder on him to make him look unwell for their mock hospital-based soap opera, after asking him why he was looking so brown. Upon hearing her comments, Mr. Coley said, That's a borderline racist thing to say. Do you know what honey, I'm a brown man. Let's just be clear on that, he added, before getting up and walking out of the room to the shock of the other housemates. Corey actor Ryan Thomas leapt to the psychic's defense and hit out at Mr. Coley, who later apologized. After being evicted from the house, he appeared on Jeremy Vine on 5 and denied he ever called her a racist. 
Hardeep said on the show, okay, so we all know, CBB, is edited. Earlier that day, the idea was Nick was, playing, a Burns victim, and they were going to wrap him in bandages, and she said, that thing you wear on your head, we can use that to wrap, Nick's head in. Now, one can make an argument as to whether there was intent in that. A 67-year-old woman, who's traveled four continents, and played to 3,000 people a night, as she constantly reminded us, there's much about her that's fascinating and interesting and impressive, but, I reckon she knows what a turban is. You grow up in London in the 1950s and 60s, you know what a turban is. So there's that, and I'm trying to explain to her that's not a respectful thing to, say, I don't go into the whole story, and maybe I should have, that when I was a child I was chased down the street with people saying, how did you hurt your head? Is that why it's wrapped up? He added, but I didn't call her racist, I said she was borderline racist. But the problem is you're in a house where people don't want stories that are more than a minute and a half long. And they don't want any conversation. Ryan, Thomas, bless him, I'm very fond of him, but he said four times racism is irrelevant. Dot. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.